Fellas, what's up? Uh, me and Johnny Boy in the garage working today. He's working on his Shitbox 71 Dart, and I'm knocking roll pins out of two steering columns. We got, if anybody needs any Mopar parts, we got a shit ton. <laughs> but we're just trying to actually decide, keep rolling with this duster and put the Dana 60 under it, or just sell this duster and put it in the much more likable 70 Coronet 500. It, it has its 318 in it now, but, but you know, why not put the stroker and the Dana in that? So that's what we got, we're trying to decide today. And, um, uh, yeah, give us your opinion in the comments on whether on whether we should leave it in the dust store or put it in the coronet. Yeah, five low sure. five stroker, but, but yeah, make a street rod out of that thing or keep trying with this, which I know we bought cow tracks for it. This thing should work with uh, fuck you call split monos. Yeah, <laughs> split monos, I, and it'd be ready for next year. All that stuff, but four fifty six in a Dana, and uh, you know. Violent, violent, violent launches and all that shit. I'm almost considering 323, 354 in a, in a Dana and 3500 stall and just making it a cruiser because when you break shit, it is terribly expensive and uh, especially eight and three quarters. And Mopar in general, yeah. Luckily, I got a couple buddies, Carl Vaughn and Darren Hamlin, that hooked me up with some parts. So it ain't costing me a ton. Uh, now it's just decision time on to go forward with the duster or uh, the coronet. Other than that, we're going to drop Johnny's yes, sir. 360 in his car real quick before he has to bolt and leave for work. And uh, I will probably just keep working on, all, on, well, you can't see it, but all kinds of stuff right here. Steering wheels, Dana 60, eight and three quarter chunks. I got one put back together that is, uh, but I need to switch the gears i'm gonna i need to switch the pinion and ring and uh i have some i think i might make a 276 sure grip out of it so i don't have to buy parts because i'm kind of tired of stiff ratioed rear ends anyway what are y'all working on today we're just doing this yeah my season our season is kind of over because we broke the car but as far as going and watching it's a another no prep event and i am bracket man i just like bracket racing i like to race myself and get an et and i like to see the numbers and see somebody ran a 1340 or somebody run a 1260 whatever i like it. that's part that's like cool hey let's see how fast this car but i ain't bashing no prep but no times suck to well, me i mean that's how you yeah you know, i understand the whole concept of the no prep and all that shit but man water burnouts is what it's been since the 80s since we've been playing with cars and uh uh, I did go uh, make a couple passes at the no prep style, and it was okay, but I want I would like to get a, an ET when I run, because uh, then I know where I'm at. I've been building this car for five years. I'd like to know what it runs. So that's what we'd probably be doing. And So we're done for the year racing. All right, John might film some more. In fact, I know he'll film some more. Yes, and he'll I film either. anything he wants to film, um, and anybody. <laughs> but... Uh, yeah, anyway, that's it. We're done with racing. Are you guys racing anywhere? I know you guys down south are. It's over for us. But uh, anyway, what are you all working on today? Yeah, aside from our jobs, uh, we also make money by buying parts and selling parts. And uh, we bought a bunch of Mopar parts this weekend. Got some AMX or AMC Javelin uh, fenders and doors and... Uh, Got some eight and three quarter shit for sale. I come out here and got well the leaf springs are for there and I'm not I can't sell those. <laughs> but uh if we have shit boxes laying everywhere, uh, so anyway. Yeah, we just this none of this shit's what I'm talking about. But just bumpers. We got three 70, 71, 72 dark bumpers. Got a couple of 70. Got a 72 hood, 71 hood. Johnny got a new hood for his car. Mm -hmm. Johnny got him some new br disc brakes, but daddy's selling that. <laughs> Johnny got two front balances. Uh, that I probably shouldn't know. This is the 70 we're talking about. Putting the stroker engine and drivetrain and Dana in. It's kind of tough because that car is already running and made a few passes. But this car is so much cooler and I've already... Done, put quarter bottom or uh, yeah, quarter bottom patches on it. Yeah, you can get in it, turn the key, start it up. It's 318, 
50,000 miles. It's hard to pull that shit apart because it's been there so long. And I really hate to. But what's cooler, a 318 Coronet 500 or a Stroke 505 that will run in the sixes? Let us know in the comments. Yeah, yeah. But anyway, uh, yeah, I got a feeling it's going to be this because I'm a dart guy. I'm not a duster guy. I got a duster. Sold my dart. Um, now I don't have a dart. I'll trade you. I, I got a 74, <laughs> but I'm not a 74 guy. Uh, there's nothing wrong with them. I like them. But I, 70, 71, 72. 72 is my favorite. And uh, my duster's a 70. I think I might just pull the drivetrain and put eight and three quarter in it and sell it. Because uh, I don't love it, but I do love this. Uh, and I love the drivetrain in that. And um, anyway, we're just collecting parts, posting parts. Um, all the prices I put on the parts, they're all always or best offer. Um, and when my friends show up, they're way cheaper than that. Hey man, we do people right, man. I mean, like, like, uh, yeah, if you're a friend and you do us right, you bet your ass you're going to get your shit pretty cheap. Yeah, there's a few people that can come over here and get shit for free. Uh, I guess there's no sense in naming them. No. They know who they are. Yeah, absolutely. They know who they are. But, hey, I want to show them, uh, check out this green dart hood. You guys let me know which one I should use. Both of them are a little rough. This one's got... You can't even see it on the camera, but this got some dents. A little denny dent right there. But like that one, it's got one dent. Uh, that one matches my car. It has more rust on the underside than the green one. Surface rust. So it's kind all. of like just who, whatever one we want to pick. This is for a 64 Polera. I'll be rolling um, in my 6 foot. <laughs> yes, sir. Yeah, if anybody needs a, a trunk lid off of a 64 Polera, this one's a very good trunk lid. And yeah, this weekend we were stripping our own cars too, taking doors off and fenders and selling those. Um, you know, obviously this place is a little trashy, but it's because we'd be staying out here working. I had to ask the wife permission because I had it all nice and cleaned up and the grass mowed and everything perfect out here. And I told her, Huns, we make money doing this. I know it looks like shit. Told her as soon as we're done, we'll get it all cleaned back up and scrap what don't sell and shit like that. Because it definitely looks shitty. But the shit, what are you going to do with it? You can't throw it away. You can't trash it. I mean, it's good shit. Frame rails, I was 68. Cuda, I've used John put a new one, put a model of that in his dart, and uh, we fixed that whole dart up out of John Johnson's frame that we got off of him. And uh, it should it takes up space, but it's very good to have when you need it because it's expensive to try to buy them. So, uh, so I think as soon as I get with Darren and we, I get he's got a, a '69 Coronet. B body with good frame rails and shit. I think that's the route we're gonna go with that car and just fix that the frame rails on that one and uh, go put the stroker motor and all that shit in that one. Uh, so if anybody needs a 69 318 that's turnkey starts and runs with I believe it's a 904 transmission and an eight and a quarter rear end, it's all for sale because it's all gonna come out. Give us a shout out. Where are you guys from? From. We want to know where everyone's from. We Definitely. knew that people in Iraq was watching the other day, so that was just like, wow, I can't believe that. That's so weird. That is cool. There's somebody from Iraq was watching, but it's neat. And uh, anyway, uh, drop it in the comments where you guys at, what you're doing, what you're working on, and uh, everybody be safe and have a good day. Yes, sir.